What we'd really like to see is for people from all across this nation to be traveling here to Moscow, Idaho to help us try to blockade these roads or, or anything to slow down the modules from getting up to um, the tar sands. We really need, we need a lot of support coming in. We can find people places to stay. But Moscow, as far as the tar sands battle goes, Moscow, Idaho is the pinch point. It is a place where they come by on this little three lane um, one way here in our, in our town and there's no other place that you can really set up so well to demonstrate, to, to put up barriers, to blockade these roads. And so what we want at Wild Idaho Rising Tide is for, for people who can't make it to Wall Street or, or can't make it to D.C. to pack their bags and, and come to Moscow. Perhaps, you know, this month would be really good as soon as you can. Join us trying to uh, stop Exxon from, well, destroying the planet. And then there's another road somewhere, I guess, south of there. I don't know exactly where, but he's going to call us. Um, I think the big one and a small one is right around Genesee, wherever mile marker 320 is. So, basically, yeah. Tar Sands is the largest, most destructive, and expensive uh, industrial project, not only on the face of the earth, but in all of history. And and so we are here to oppose parts of an upgrader plant uh, that are coming up Highway 95 through Washington Street here in Moscow. This is the Vitterate Range of the Rocky Mountains, Idaho and Montana, America. This is the Clearwater National Forest on the Bitterroot. It belongs to you. This is the Alberta Tar Sands Complex. It doesn't belong to you. It belongs to Exxon. It's the biggest, dirtiest, most ecologically destructive oil extraction operation on Earth. It has turned hundreds of square miles of northern Alberta into a raped and stinking tar pit. It siphons billions of gallons of pure Athabasca river water and turns it to toxic sludge. It feeds a 50 square mile poisonous carcinogenic lake in which nothing can live. It's a hideous, filthy moonscape of industrial junk and garbage in a pristine wilderness. It is the single most gargantuan source of climate-changing CO2 in North America. Its black monstrous scar can be easily identified from space. It belongs to Exxon. This is a piece of equipment Exxon needs to process their dirty tar sands oil. It's 30 feet in diameter, it's as long as a basketball court, and it weighs 600,000 pounds. Canadian labor could make them, but they buy them cheap non-union in Korea. Then they ship them by sea, but not to Canada, to Lewiston, Idaho. Why? Because Canada has rules and regulations. Exxon needs roads they can use as they please. And they got them from the governors of Idaho and Montana. Welcome to your capital. We're here today to, de to, to demand that you come out and publicly rescind your support for the Keystone XL energy pipeline and Exxon's proposed tar sand shipments. We feel that the Silver Tip Pipeline disaster in the Yellowstone River recently is just a preview of what's to come. If you continue to cater to big oil's interests and turn our state into what would essentially be an energy extraction colony. Oh, yeah, I, I'm probably not going to do that today. Next question. <laughs> This was continuing right now with blue concrete in Canada. That's why it's unacceptable. When 21 women try to have children in the community, and 19 of them that year have stillbirths, I say, sir, it is time for us to step aside from those corporations, to stand away from those people. Well, where are you gonna stand? You wanna know? Standing here right now. <laughs> making a joke. This is nothing like. Okay. This is nothing like about it. it seems pretty clear to us that you're not willing to negotiate. And I'm here to tell you that we're not going anywhere. Yeah. <laughs>
that guy.